YouTube, Lays and I'm here, and here we are back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we should have <laughs> the new events coming in, um, should actually be recording this tomorrow, the rest of this, uh, but I want to come in and check out the boot camp, I kind of wanted to do this last video, but decided against it, um, so clear campaigns, um, stage 5 through 10 to claim a Starlight, which is insane, like, I feel like that's easy to do, oh, it's like every... Oh, yeah, dude, I, that's so easy, I feel like. I feel like you get that pretty quick. I mean, maybe not super quick, but relatively quick you get a Starlight, which is cool, because Starlight's a pretty good hero to have. And, I mean, that's another copy for me, which I think, honestly, I might have enough copies. I definitely have a copies to 9-star. I might even have copies to 10-star. But I want to come and check yours, and then another Vesa copy, which is just beautiful. Uh, absolutely amazing. You cannot complain about another best copy, which now that gives me enough best copies to nine star. Even more reason to want to focus on that, but we're not gonna. We're still sitting the fortress. Uh, as tempting as that is, we're going for the penny. If we can pull another penny copy again, we will be ready to go to a 10 star penny. Although, I still need to figure out the food situation, but that'll be a different story. I mean, the matter is getting the copy first before I'm worrying too much about it, but I'll definitely be lining up my Sigmunds and stuff um, to bring. You know, segment up with any excess things that I don't use on Penny anyways. And then saving up to get Penny ready for the Tensor Jump whenever I pull another copy of her. Because all we need is one more. And it'll be such in a good spot. And I'll probably have enough horror stuff, honestly, left over right now. Um, to maybe get this up. Although, I might need to use Starlight 9 Star for food. So, if I need to use Starlight 9 Star for food for my Penny, that's not going to happen. Because I don't think I have enough food in... And shatter to bring them up like I, you need so much more food than I make it seem so um, anyways what is this one so this is just for reaching different levels which is amazing they're giving me new rewards if, if you have this like if you start playing the game now things got so much better with all this level 30 you start getting rewards and you know looks like it starts off pretty small um, so two star gear though it's not bad like I feel like by this point you don't have really much at all another ice blink which I got one earlier in the run that's just food for me, which is nice. Just I bank some food, and then as many heart watchers as possible because upgrading heart watchers is eventually going to be the goal. Uh, we get some four star gear, which puts me in some pretty good spot. I could have just the claim all button, but I kind of want to check it all out. Um, to be honest, though, I didn't see the claim all button. I did want to check it out with you guys though. And then lastly, um... oh, well, I would have, I think, all of these done. Yeah, I'd have all of these done if, um, wow, that kind of stinks. So those will get done. Man, I really wish I actually had this a thing. It makes it even more tempting to just go run it, but we'll get it over time. I'm not really in the rush for this. I don't think these go away. Um, although I did see something in the check-ins here. Go to the exchange starlight shards for Sigmund shard. So, okay, wait a minute. Why is that a thing, and where do you get that? Because that's insane. Uh, let me see what I have for a shard. So I have two Starlight Shards, which I only need one to go to 9-star, which is cool. I don't plan to take it really to 10-star. That's not the goal. So yes, I'm down to do that, because I need as many Sigmund Shards as possible, because we're kind of bringing Sigmund up to wherever. Um, we already have Sigmund at um, a beautiful 7-star, and we have the Shard to bring him to a 9-star. But... We don't have enough to bring him to a 10 star yet, and this will give me one away from that as well. So technically, wow, they just give you a Sigmund like that. I mean, those look like they change, so I don't know how often those. Those look like, I think, that was more than a month timer, I think, right? No, that was a month timer. That was a month. So every month, I think it changes. I think. I don't know how to get that up, because it's gone. Let me know if there's a way to do that, but um, to, like bring it up so I can like see even what I purchased in here. Is it in here? I think they said they were coming out with a new monthly as well. It may have been that. It may have been that, but that looked like it was more than a month. Um, I mean, we're, we're done with that. We can't do anything. Yeah, and it's nothing to do with this, so... I'm not too sure. But nonetheless, that's pretty cool. We now have another Sigmund copy. Um, so, both of these, we have two Sigmunds in the bank now. Um, which is just crazy, because again, one to go from 8 to 9, and then one of the two we need to go from 9 to 10. So, technically, if we pull a Penny or a Sigmund... I can bring them to 10 star. I don't think bringing Sigmund to 10 star first is worth it. Um, 
Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm not going to be around this weekend, so a lot of my actual upgrading probably won't be happening during this video. It's going to be more of just the openings, and I might do a little bit of upgrading, but most of my upgrading won't be happening until the end of the week. But having two Heart Watchers, two Vessas, two Sigmunds, all just chilling in the bank with a penny, it's just it's such a good feeling, knowing that there's so much in here. And then, when you, you know, we got our boy Berea, which gives us a six-star to build um, for some six-star food there and stuff, which wouldn't be a bad idea because I'd love to get Cruz up a little bit because he's, you know, it's not really a huge deal. We, actually, we can't. We need a copy of him. I lied. For some reason, I thought he was still 7-star. But I don't want to waste any more time on this. I just wanted to go through the boot camp with you. I'm sure some of you guys screamed in the comments. I didn't really even mention it, I don't think, at all in last video. Um, but uh, I'm almost positive it was there. It may not even been there. But I'm almost positive it was there last video. Um, I knew it was coming out. But uh, I wanted to kind of just run that. But um, the rest of the video, we'll be checking out our private orbs, which we're still technically one shy of 60, but we will get the first day of it starting. So I'll see you guys then. Alright, so we're back guys. Uh, what is this blinking about now? Oh, oh, and they got a boss for me. Oh, never mind, it's gone. Uh, so, I wanted to say something. First of all, the Brave Trial is full of so many 5-star Sigmunds after they made it, so things changed. Also, the only reason I could trade it in is because I guess they changed the first month um, to now being a Sigmund thing rather than Starlight because you can get Starlight from the boot camp. So you can't get 2-5-star star, two five star Starlights and aim for a 6-star right off the bat like I was suggesting. Um, that easy at least i mean it's still possible but they set new accounts up pretty well though with the heart watcher uh, I mean, like you get it i'd say new accounts you still have to work for it a little bit i think by like level 90 you get it all but like that's not bad i like, guarantees everyone to have certain copies which is cool so profit or event um i have 60 um the rewards are pretty good sigmund i mean i need sigmund that'll actually give me enough to 10 star sigmund right there um so that's cool. I'm pretty positive. I have to double check, but I'm almost positive. A six star Sigmund, uh, or sorry, a ten star Sigmund banked. Um, sadly, I'm not gonna get the Valk. I will get ten most likely. I don't even know if I can do the heroic miracle for five and six stars, to be honest. Um, or sorry, for dark and light heroes, to be honest. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna build Valentino. Anyways, I mean, it'd be food if anything. I know he's good. Uh, I don't know how good. I haven't really done much research into him. But uh, sadly, I will miss this. And like, as much as I'd like a Valk, like Penny is. The new Valk, anyways. Um, like, so I'd rather have a penny up there. And yeah, you can have them both, but I'd rather have that. But I, I am going to miss out on having these because I feel like those are really nice to start stacking up on to buy things. I think you can, like, rebuy things, right? Yeah, like, I could buy another penny copy. I can slowly get all my penny copies from there. Um, but sadly, can't happen. And nonetheless, we're going to hop in here, get through this, um, all opening everything in the fortress here. That's where we want everything, which. You know, I think this. No, it's this. Um, that's not Fortress. What am I doing? No, that is Fortress. That's Fortress. Oh, you have to click it at the bottom. I could have sworn you had to go to each one to do it. But um, So that gives us the option to grab... Um, possibly grab another penny? If we get another penny, then we have enough to sense our penny. If we get more Sigmunds, that just works towards anything above... Level 10 Sigmund, which again, I don't think I want to do until I get Penny up there, but if the opportunity comes, I'm not going to wear a rushing Sigmund to t 10 star, but if the opportunity comes, I'll definitely go it. Um, I'm definitely willing to take him up, and honestly, I, I'd, I'd, I'd bring Sigmund up even higher than 10 star. Like, you know, I think he'd be worth it over time. I wouldn't rush him, and I'd rather get the copies of him to have the opportunity to do it rather than actually doing it with him, uh, getting him up there. But let's let's uh, let's do this. Let's open these up. Uh, again, 60. We're opening 60. Easy. Let's get lucky. No five stars. Okay. We didn't even get many shards, but we did get quite a few branches. I feel like that's a lot of branches. Um, not doing 80 of these is going to stink. So one five star and a bunch of stuff. Really, really low here. A bunch of branches again, though. Um, I think I already had some branches left over. No five stars again. These are some crab openings. Oh, this is not going to be super exciting of a... Uh... Oh, two five stars there. That's two five stars of her. Same things. I think she can go to a six star. So that's a thing to go to six star. I'm pretty positive uh, Emily can go to six star. So there's two copies to bring her to six star. Um, nothing there. And then that's it. That was really upsetting, actually. Uh, but we can get the Sigmund uh, and all this. Those Light and Dark Heroes might save me. I don't know if I had a copy of each. Um, we have this. So Light we have. But I'm not going to do Light unless I can do Dark as well. And Dark is the one I'm worried about. No, we got we got two of them banked. Sweet. So that means we are going to get that done. Um, 
that'll be all of my light and dark heroes. And I don't have any bag space right now, which is a slight problem. Sadly, didn't get Penny, but we do have 13 replacements. It's actually not that many. Man, I feel like that just, like, went so fast. I feel like 80 goes so much lower. Uh, again, I'll te technically get another 10, but I'm not going to get another 10 after that. So there's no way for me to get the Valk, which does stink. But again, I'm not really worried about building her anyways. I, I really don't have a plan to build her. Like, if it happens, it happens, and, like, I could build her. But I honestly think Penny is just going to be better than her in every way anyways. So I'm worried about getting Penny up there. Sadly, we don't have the copies for Penny, although now we have three Sigmund summons as well as Sigmunds at 7-star. So to get in a 9-star, all we need is, I think, yeah, three 5-stars, a 6-star, and then to go to 9-star, we will use a copy of him and, like, two 5-stars or something like that. Um, and then we need two more to go to 10-star. So technically we're there. We do need a 9-star to put into him, and we don't have that. Uh, again, probably could get Starlight there, but I don't think it's worth getting rid of Starlight to bring... Like, I don't think it's worth bringing Sigmund 10-star before I get something else there. It might be. I'm sure he does get pretty beefy. Um, and I'd like to still level him up, because, you know, we can get him the... You know, we, we can even get the 9-star. Like, I'll, I'll probably go to 9-star with him. Um, what I can do is we can do this as well. Bring in this bad boy in here. We had enough for that. So I've got an Elite Summon there, which, who knows? It's a penny. Um, it's definitely a penny. I'm calling it now. Um, but let me see what I can make happen with everything I currently have. Because I already have uh, an absolutely full bag. I'm going to see if I can craft anything or get close to crafting anything. Um, before I even get the Heroic Summons going in and... Everything like that. Obviously, I'm going to do random stuff before I do specific things, too. Um, just because if we don't have to summon some of this stuff, I prefer not to. Like, I don't want to bring Heart Watchers into it. Again, we do have 10 Star Heart Watcher Bank, too. So, it's two 10 Stars banked. Um, which is such a good feeling. It really is. Uh, and then 9 Star Starlight right there. So, we're pretty much ready to go with that. But let me figure this out. Okay, so we're getting fairly close to making some things. I didn't actually make anything, but I cleared up some bag space of things that we're not close to doing. So we can summon a couple things in. First, I want to start off by summoning in this bad boy. Oh my god. Another Sigmund. Like, I would have so much preferred a penny. That's three Sigmunds banked. It's like telling me to go Sigmund. I think because you need... I forget what happens after 10 star. Like, I don't remember what you need. I know you know you need st um, other copies. And let's open all six of these. Just see what we get. I could have been a bag space for it. Three of these boys, which means I'm pretty sure you can go six star. Um, with some forest food, which is great because we're looking to bring starlight up. So that's beautiful. And that auto completes two of those, giving me stuff there. Um, but it's pretty good shape. But I'm pretty sure. Um, who did I just pull? Oh, it was in here. What am I looking at? Um, yeah, this is him, right? Oh, no, it's not. Who do we get? That dude. Is he not here? Yeah, he's here. Um, so, technically, yeah, we're ready to do that. Uh, I don't have this, but who knows that I won't be able to make it. I mean, I don't have any copies of him now, but we have a bunch of four-star summons to pull. So, it's possible. So again, sadly, backspace is going to be a problem. I don't have a lot. Um, some of the stuff I am pretty close to doing, and I'm going to work on just... Focusing on Sigmund right now, getting up to 8-star first. That's my going to be my first goal. All right, a couple little things happening. Um, quickly, we are going to get our Bessa. We're going to summon in one copy of her. Bring her up to a 6-star, which would be nice. As well as we're ready to bring Sigmund up a level. So, I've done a ton of stuff. Getting through a little bit of the work. It's really hard with this tight inventory space. Like, it's impossible right now. Actually, I need to come here and Arena, join, defense, and I have to take her out. We'll get her up to 6-star. I might even go a little higher with her, but um, we'll see. I kind of want to push Starlight first to 9-star, so that I have a 9-star, but um, I don't know if I want to, and I don't know if I'll have the food for it anyways, but the idea is to use these three, uh, and then boom, I'm working towards getting a 6-star him. I actually almost have what I need, other than a couple more 5-stars, I do have him bagged as a 5-star, so I've already got the copy of him I need. So that's sweet. That allows me to put a um, Vesa six star in the team so now i have no five stars on my team which is cool uh, as well as i can pop into here and go to our lovely little segment and bada bing give it that five star and i got you some food here bada boom he's now there um i need some six star food and two more of those so i don't know if we'll be able to actually take them up there but let's i'm um, not awaken um let's level them up real quick Definitely bring his HP up a good bit. Um, and I think these all went up a level. So definitely makes him beefier. And then we can come in here and I'm sure we'll see a difference. Um, here, plus those go to level 2. and 
she just becomes a much better healer and hopefully won't die all the time. I mean, to be fair, her and Sigmund both die quite a bit. Um, I think just because they're on the lower star side. I mean, we can we could definitely work towards getting her, um, not her up, uh, well, her up too, but work towards getting uh, Vesa up. Um, you know, we, we could just go four star food in there, but I kind of want, like, I don't really want to use, I think I'm not in a rush. Uh, I'd rather spend him and my Dragon Slayer in on a six star because I'm pretty close to making that happen. But I'm going to keep going, uh, doing what I can. I'm holding out on... Um, summoning in these guys just because I don't want to deal with them in inventory space. They just become more inventory space. And we haven't really done much in Shadow. I've actually been having to get rid of some 4-star Shadow because I keep filling up inventory and I'm really focusing more on the other three because um, I have been doing okay and actually we might already. I don't want to do it yet. But we might. Oh no, we need a copy of him. Um, but we just keep propping up to possibly go somewhere with Cruz as well if we can get another copy of him someday. Alright, so I'm coming up to the end. Um, we are taking our boy Sigmund up to the next level here i uh, got this created um and then we got these two guys we're gonna bring in definitely gonna bring him up uh to a nine star so there's another nine star on the team we do have the two copies in the bag we do not have the six star or a nine star six star a fortress or nine star of anything to really make that happen whoops that's not what i meant to do uh but let's level it up definitely becoming a pretty beast tank and the more i think about it is because we care more about the hp i'm probably best off actually just giving him this stuff even though he doesn't have matching armor he'll have less attack but think yeah, that's a lot more hp so i think we're gonna rock it um just because i am gonna put him in the front line and he's you know only does so much damage but he's with three nine stars um starlight is i mean we have the copy of her in the bag we have the six star i just don't have other food for her um which is a problem i can't make anything happen uh i don't have much much food left um i have enough here but i don't have enough anything else I, I've, I've gone dry on everything um and i don't have any i don't have anything for uh for us other than this i could get one maybe out of the check but maybe one that'd be all i could get um forest and i have no food in forest uh and i don't even have one of these um so i'm kind of in a rough space there i do have some things here that might be able to make me get two but it'd be very unlikely uh, i'm gonna save the rerolls for the um sheltered missions because i definitely want to make sure i get sheltered missions done uh, but other than that i will use any rerolls afterward on something um we have three and we only need two to go to 10 stars so that's good still need a penny copy and i think we're still going to hold out for getting penny um before we go 10 star maybe want to go in this but next next month seems like we're going in fortress again i did level my um my Aiden up to 100 um, just so if I wanted to I could start kind of popping some stuff in him to clear up backspace um, as I think we're going to push him to 9 star and be 9 star food I think I don't know if I'll have enough and I don't want to go too early in case somehow I pull a Horus and then I decide to bring Horus to the team which I don't know who I'd replace but Horus would definitely be worth bringing in later uh, at the very least but I could definitely throw four things in this right now um, and bring him up to 7 star again just for food that's really all it is I'm not going to level him up past 100 I don't think you need to at any point, but we need like a six star, which I do have a bait. I could technically take him all the way to eight star right now. I have everything I need to go to eight star. Just I wouldn't be able to go to nine star because I don't have another six star. Uh, but I do have a, another copy of him to go to nine star. So he's already pretty close to nine star. Like the potential to bring him to nine star is not terribly far away. And we haven't even ever went in there with the profit orb. So that's pretty good. This thing keeps going off. Oh, I guess we got the fusion event. Wow. Really? Okay. Okay. I got this part done. Okay, I've not gotten the 10 star. Okay, that's why. And you can do this. Okay. All right, I was confused for a second. Um, and we're I did get a 7 star quest today, too. Uh, I can do this heroic miracle. I still need to get another shadow, actually. Um, let me look at that. I don't think I can. I definitely can't make anything, so I'm going to have to summon something. You know what we'll do? Um, how much bag space do I have? I have a decent bit. I cleared up a, a good bit of bag space, obviously. I'm just going to summon in one of these guys. I kind of want to bring in all three, but uh, we'll just take in one. Um, okay. So I don't think that necessarily does anything for us, but that gives us that completion. And then we're actually to the point where we can pretty much craft uh, either this or this. Uh, we have a ton of copies. Damn, I have three extra copies, so I'm actually going to craft this first. I'm going to use three of these, and I think just one of those, although... 
What uses what? Like Ada would use this. Okay, that's what we want then. We care more about that because if anything, we'd probably be going for a six star one on her. Um, so I definitely want a five star of this dude off the bat. Yeah, so we'll do three of this and two of one of this just to kind of put us in track. And I do need two more of these, which um, I do have more of these I could summon, but they're not worth it because I don't have enough four stars to go around. So I'd rather just come down here and summon them exclusively. Um, just pop two in. Uh, which gives me one of my lights crafted, which is cool. Um, so I only have to summon in one, which means I can leave her bagged. Um, but yeah, boom, 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 bam. Crap, then I've hurt, or this. Um, so if we get another one, of, or if we get her, um, I mean, we'd still need... The f oh, actually, I have the food technically there. That's what I need. Um, technically, I could make a six star. Actually, now that I think about it, I could make this thing stick star. Divine Spirit. I'm pretty sure that's literally the most basic of basic. Although, actually, I think these guys are more basic. But, I mean, those three are the most basic of basic. But, yeah, we have the potential to bring it to six star. Obviously, we'd want to keep one copy of this dude and not do that. Um, so, I wouldn't want to do that. But, um, a six star would be good because that would be even closer to, like, a seven star or something. It's cool the idea that we could, we're probably going to bring her up and maybe end up, because the idea wasn't even really to get rid of Vesta, I was thinking about keeping her, but eventually maybe I'll get rid of her, maybe we'll bring her to like 10 star and leave her at 10 star, um, because I think there's 10 star food, I could always leave her at 9 star too, if we ever get the copies for it, um, actually we have the copies for 9 star right now, but we're in pretty good shape, um, but other than that, I just need to get these last summons in, um, because we'll get this, which I think I'm just going to use as food, I really don't think I want to use them, I don't know though. I, I don't know, uh, but we need to summon in two darks and a light, and I'm not close to summoning really another light. Um, I mean, I just don't have enough uh, four stars. I mean, I technically am close. I mean, if I have two four-star light shards, maybe I'll just do that. Then I can keep things bagged. I think that's probably worth... I mean, I could, I'd rather not use specific summons. Um, but do we have the random summons? We do. And I have a bunch of them. And I only need two? I think two. Uh, it sucks it's that guy. Um, That almost makes me actually want to just make another one of him. If I summon in the two that I have, I use those four as food. And summon him for me. Yeah, that's what we'll do. As much as that kind of sucks. I mean, I could just summon in two more randoms, but I think I'm okay doing this. Um, we just do this. Bam. Summon another two copies of that, and then it makes it so I can just do all three summons, which is really cool, actually. Um, bam. And I'd rather this. I'd rather just get rid of you guys. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't think we need that for anything I'd plan to build. Um, yeah, so now, I mean, we'd only need one copy for this. If I had an extra thing, I'd be able to technically make a six star, which would clear up inventory space. So if it comes to it, I probably will six star that thing, because um, we'll need a six star to you know, for something else later, anyways, I mean, it might not be worth it, to so have a six star, but it would clear up inventory space, which I feel like on free to play, you kind of have to do, as much as better to keep it as a raw resource, uh, I don't think it's a bad idea, sadly, we're nowhere close to summoning anything in here, uh, I think the last time we had to craft one in there, um, so we do have to come in here, and we do have to summon both of these bad boys, um, two more five stars, um, which will let me complete the event up, and get that guy, um, which I'll hold on to for now. I don't think, like I said, I'm going to use them. Uh, we're probably pretty close to being able to make one of these. Which, again, really wouldn't do. Um, sadly, we need this thing uh, to make her. So if we ever get a second copy, we're not quite there. But that would be cool to make her a six star. I mean, she'd be cool late game on the team. But again, you can't really account for having one of them. Uh, but I think that's it for this episode, guys. I know it's kind of long-ish. And it really does things we can't get Valk. Because um, it still would have been cool to have her. But uh, I'm not really worried. Team's looking pretty solid. Um, I did level Vesa up, yeah. Uh, let's quickly just see what happens in the guild raid for anyone who hung out, because I think I saved it. Hopefully everything's still alive in it. Um, I guess let's throw you in the front. I could still leave her there. I could even throw Cruz there. But I think we'll do that. The issue is we're still getting one shot, so I still think we might get one shot. Um, but let's just try that. You'll see it happen. Like we just get up. I'll go in slow motion so you guys can even make out what happens. Sometimes it goes too fast. Yeah, he's a tanky little guy now. Yeah, he's very tanky. 
we still go down pretty fast, but that's actually not really any more than I was getting before. Uh, but he definitely seems like he takes some hits. Um, but hey, it's cool. I'm glad we got him there. Again, the potential to go higher is really sweet. Um, when will it happen? I don't know. But having Vesa not just sitting at a measly little... That was terrible. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we're really doing much better in there, to be honest. Um... It really, really doesn't. I can mess around with the artifact again and swap that around. But I do think having him on... I should have checked his damage. Having him set up like this until I get more of these. Which I might be able to craft. I'll have to look into that. I don't want to keep this dragging this on. I know this episode's going way more than it needs to be. Um, doing really good at inventory space, which is great. Um, it's such a feel good when you can clear it out. Um, we're, we're really low on space. And a lot of this stuff, I mean, I don't really want to get rid of. Uh, it just stinks I can't finish crafting it into thing or making things with it. But I think we're pretty good. Uh, nothing else to really do. Saving up on some of those, which is cool. Um, I'll have to try to snipe something in there. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please take a second to smack that like button. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.